Last year, a thermal power plant in Krasnoyarsk, Russia, failed, flooding nearby rivers with some 17,500 tons of diesel oil. It was the first large-scale disaster of its kind in the Arctic, says Greenpeace. The Kremlin blamed local authorities for the spill, but many scientists and the company that owns the plant say the region's thawing permafrost is to blame because it weakens support for the fuel tank. Vladimir Romanovsky teaches geophysics at the University of Alaska. This thawing process, melting ice, will lead to changes in uh, topography and microtopography. So where ice, uh, where is a lots of ice, this surface will be subsiding uh, rapidly. It's not good uh, for ecosystem generally. It's not good for infrastructure. So these changes are impacting not only directly people who live there and work there, but also it has some impact on uh, uh, infrastructure in general, in uh, uh, things like uh, energy security, uh, food and water security, and national security. The melting permafrost will produce even more carbon emissions, causing climate change, says Romanovsky. Uh, of course, very well known, uh, this uh, permafrost carbon uh, feedback. So because permafrost contain a significant amount of carbon in the frozen form, and by estimates of scientists, it's about twice more carbon in permafrost regions sequestered in soils compared to amount of carbon in the atmosphere. So roughly speaking, if all of this carbon will release to the atmosphere, the amount of carbon in the atmosphere will be tripled. And it's not only Russia that faces these problems. The U.S. has felt the consequences of permafrost melting too. Scientists say the governments of countries with areas of permafrost on their territories need to prepare for an increase in spending to maintain the existing infrastructure to keep it functional. For Alexander Yanevsky in Washington, Amy Katz, VOA News.